We're going to continue with 5.5a CAD model features part 1 and in this video we're going to go over rectangular pattern in Autodesk Inventor. Now what I need you to do is go start up Inventor, start a new part file, and create a sketch on the front plane. Then you're going to create a 6 by 4 rectangle and then extrude it 0.5 inches. Oops. After you're done doing that, you're going to go ahead and use this sketch here. You're going to draw a circle in the lower corner with a diameter of 0.3 and then add in those dimensions. And then I would like you to extrude it 0.3. So then you'll have just one little cylinder down in the bottom. And you can save this file as the rectangular pattern in the 5.5a folder that you made. So I have my sketch. I just need to extrude here and then I'll be caught up with you. We're going to go 0.3 for the extrusion. Alright, so the new tool is the rectangular pattern tool and we're going to use it as a feature tool so it is right here under the 3D model ribbon and we're going to create a rectangular pattern. So the rectangular pattern really just uses X and Y coordinates to create a pattern based on the number of rows and the number of columns that you would like and you can also specify the spacing in between those which is what this is right here. So the first thing it wants us to do is select the feature that you want to create the pattern with. So I'm going to click on this cylinder and then what I'm going to do is click on direction one. Now direction one is going to be either in this direction, or I'm sorry, we want the pattern to go to the right in this direction or up in this direction. So the, we got to do, we got to specify two. So the first one I'm going to do is just how about this right edge. And that is saying that it's going to go up. So how many um, columns do we want? Well, if you look at the directions, it says four columns. And what do they want the spacing to be? I believe they said one inch. Yeah. So it's going to be one inch. Okay. And then for direction two, I'm going to click here. And this time I'm going to click over here. And now I don't want it going that way. So you can use this button to flip it. I want it to go the other way. And they said they wanted six here. And the distance or the spacing in between them is also going to be an inch. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now I have my rectangular pattern. Go ahead and add steel and steel polished again. Update your eye properties and save it. And yes, and then save. And then finally, I want you to add in all of the annotations. So these are the ones you're going to need. So I have that dimension. I think I'm just missing one. Oh, no, I got it right here. 24 of those. So those that's everything you're going to need. You're going to scoot the model over here. Screen clip with the browser and the model into the binder down here, right here. And then you can go ahead and save when you're all done. And you have just learned the rectangular pattern tool.